Hey guys, welcome back, Orbom here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO content. Now, today is September 31st, or not September 31st, hello, September 1st, and today is the day that the new format begins. The issue is, though, is that I don't have a lot of time to record today, <laughs> so I have to record right now before the system updates, and um, I should be fine. I'm not too worried about it. Hopefully we don't run into too much bullshit. But today, we should play around. You know what, I'm gonna start that little bit in. Every time. Clearly there's something wrong with me. Why does my mouth water so much when I'm talking? Hey guys, welcome back, Orbomb here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO content. Now today, people, today we're tackling something very unique. So be sure to hit that like button if you like my content, subscribe if you haven't already, and today we're messing around with Mega Scizor. And um, the reason why I sound so like eh right now is because I just woke up. Uh, found out that they're not updating the system until like later in the day. So uh, the new format, even though today's September 1st when I'm recording this, that is, it's probably going up the next day, but today's September 1st and when I'm recording this and it's not updated yet for whatever reason, so it doesn't matter, they'll update it midday or something like that. But today's very different because I have two builds of Mega Scizor I want to test out. Both of them I haven't played yet. I played like variants of them, but I decided there was like, this is the one deck I kind of want to build two versions of. Um, where ever it went here it is so first up is our mega scissor disruption deck um it's a very 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 basic deck uh there's not much to it it's hoopa to get our mega scissor if you guys don't know what mega scissor does i have a huge feeling that mega scissor is going to be very 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 good in the next format every big deck mewtwo rainbow road a rayquaza Things like that, they all rely on both two things, their stadium to support their attacks and um, their special energy, the double colorless energy. So what does Mega Scizor do? Well, for only two energies, which if you guys have seen my Mega Gardevoir video, very, very easy to do, you can discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon or a stadium card in play. So Mega Scizor disrupts all of that, disrupts the entirety of what makes those top three decks so good. Also fucks up with things like Waterbox, who uses double colorless. Uh, also uses gets rid of their rough seas and things like that. Uh, what other decks are there? Uh, I guess you could argue Mega Gardevoir too. I don't know why the music stopped playing for me. I think you guys can't hear it anyways. I'm gonna play it again anyways. Uh, give me one second so I can make this music and endlessly or some crap like that. But anyways, there's all sorts of decks that rely on special energies. Even things like Zygarde, who rely on strong energies. Or, or, um, or things like that. They rely on stadiums for all that extra damage. Um, you disrupt them completely, and that disruption is huge because that means that you can easily two shot everything. And in the case of Mega Gardevoir, Oko it because you hit it for weakness and um, disrupt them at the same time. Now, 220 HP, nothing to laugh at. That's a pretty decent amount. The one deck that the one type 
that really screws this card over and why people aren't playing it right now is Volcanion. Fire decks in general, they really mollywop the Scizor. They can almost always Oko it after weakness if you give them enough strength to, to beef it up. And Mega Scizor's damage output is not enough to Oko things like a Belted or even regular Volcanion. I believe regular Volcanion, like Baby Volcanion, only has 130 HP or 120. I don't remember. But like, because of that, it has a hard time dealing with it. So uh, I have two different kinds of decks that I feel like might help, might help. So let me go over them real quick. This one right here is Mega Scizor, as I already showed you. Uh, we play three regular Scizor 2. Steel Wing's not that bad. For one energy, any damage done to you is reduced by 20, and you do 20 damage in return. And Gale Thrust. If this Pokemon is on your bench, it becomes your active Pokemon this turn. This attack does 60 more damage. So if you make this Pokemon your active Pokemon, it does 110 more damage. That comes more into play in the next build. But it's definitely not a bad attack if you can't Mega Evolve. It's only 10 points weaker than your Mega Attack. It just doesn't do the disruption part. Two Shamans for consistency, draw support. One Hoopa to get all of your Pokemon, your Mega Pokemon, whatnot. And then we are playing 2-2 two -two line of Garbodor. Garbotoxin, if this Pokemon has a Pokemon tool attached to it, there's no abilities work. Essentially, there's no abilities in the game. Uh, and all you have to do is attach a tool. Now, next in this format, there's no way to get rid of tools. So Garbodor, as long as you don't knock it out, is pretty much there to stay. We're playing a 2-2 two -two line. Uh, I'm gonna, I can super rod them back if I need to. I might even throw in an extra super rod. I don't know. I haven't played this deck yet. This is just something I have in my head in theory. But that helps huge because what makes Volcanion deck so good is Volcanion EX, which gives them that extra 30 damage by discarding a fire type card. If you can get rid of that Volcanion, say early in the game, so like they can't use that ability anymore, then they're not going to have enough firepower early in the game to knock out your Garbodor or your Mega Scizor. They're not going to be doing that much damage at all because there's no more Blacksmith to really accelerate their energy. So they're going to be stuck doing very little damage and Mega Scizor can do its best to take advantage of it while it can. Also turns things off like Rayquazas and Ho uh, Shamans and Hoopas from uh, against a Rayquaza deck. And since all you're doing is playing your stuff really, really early in the game, it doesn't affect you that much either. <sighs> Excuse me. Mm. It turns off the abilities of things like Carbink that um, uh, that Rainbow Road decks uses, and just main just like really slows down your opponent if they can't use abilities like Hoopa and Shaman, which is huge for them. Now, obviously, they're going to get that off right away. They're going to try their best at least. But if you can stop them from doing it later in the game, uh, for instance, in the case of Rayquaza, you get rid of their Sky Field. Say they put down another one, but they, you need, they need the acceleration of Hoopa and, and Shaman to get down their Pokemon again. If you can turn that off, then you're in a much better position. Now, there's that part. Now, to continue with the disruption part, we are playing three Crushing Hammers because, you know, since we're already disrupting special energies, we might as well go all out and uh, really, really hinder our opponent while we chip them away which is the point of the disruption deck. Crushing Hammer, we are playing uh, three Mega Turbos. I don't feel like we need four in the deck. We are playing uh, four Puzzle of Times. I feel like this is really nice. It gets back your hammers. It gets back your Mega Turbos. Um, things like that. Float Stones, your special Steel Energies right here that we are playing because it does reduce damage by 10, uh, which is really, really nice because, you know, Mega Scizor is pretty fat already, so reducing damage even more is really good, is really cool. I might take this out completely, but we'll have to see. <sighs> Excuse me. Mm. Excuse me. One Super Rod, 444 four, four of Trainer Mail Ultra Ball and VS Seekers for consistency. It's always something I like to put, especially in this current format. One Lysander, I always try to put two in my deck. I might bump something to put in two. We will see. There's always two ends in my deck. One Pokemon Ranger. Uh, four Sycamores for consistency. One Skyla because it's a mega deck. I really like Skyla and mega decks. Two Parallel City to really help disrupt your opponent more if it's Rayquaza or, um, or really just any Rayquaza. Gardevoir, uh, Rainbow Road. All those get heavily affected by Parallel City, even Volcanion to a sense, because if you bump their state, if you bump their um their their bench to only three, they can't increase that they can't increase the damage output because they won't have that many Volcanions to do that with. So there's that, <clears throat> which is really nice. Um, two Float Stones for the Garbodors, three Spirit uh, Scissor Spirit Links because they're Spirit Links, and then two Six Line of Metal Energies plus Shield Energies. So there's this variant of the deck. Uh, man, I've been talking for far too long. 
Uh, now, this is going to be a different kind of video. It might be a bit longer than usual because I am doing two different decks, but I didn't want to do um, one Mega Scizor build and then another Mega Scizor build another deck. But for future videos, guys, please let me know how you feel about this, or maybe I should just record two separate videos and just have them one day and then the next day the different other kind of deck. Because I really like this idea. I like the idea of testing out new decks, but like actually testing them, giving you different variants of builds that I feel like can work really Really, really well now speaking of decks that i feel like work really really well we have the off this is what i call mega scissor offense now the reason why i call it mega scissor offense is because instead of like disrupting your opponent you kind of have counters to deal with your opponent now of course we have the mega scissor which i already went over last time we got our hoopa and we got our shamans as i went over last time too we have uh magirna magirna ex is cool because mystic heart means that uh, they can't be affected by the opponent's attacks, which means things like the the first the first thing I come that comes to mind when I think of that is Froki's bubble. It can't paralyze you if you have a steel energy attached to you. Obviously, there's other examples. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, paralysis is huge. Usually, Pokemon can paralyze you. Regice, for instance, can use that paralysis attack. Uh, Magirna kind of stops that, which is huge because you know that means you can always attack. So it's nice having Magirna on the bench. We are playing a 2-2 line of Zoroark. Now, the reason why I like Zoroark is because it completely beats Rayquaza and Skyfield variants of a... Oh, actually, not even Skyfield variants, because you're still hitting for 160. Uh, beats Rayquaza and Xerneas. Because um, with Skyfield up and your Rayquaza having a full bench, they're doing 240. I think they're doing it to you. So this one does... 30 plus times 8, which so is 8, 16, 24, that's 2400, plus the 10 damage, that's 2500 damage. So if they have a full bench in Rayquaza or in Rainbow Road, you're doing 2500 damage to their Pokemon, which means you're knocking out all Rayquazas. Um, in Rainbow Road, you are knocking them out, but we'll say that they're like my variant, where you're not playing Skyfield, all you're doing is playing, uh, is playing um, Fairy Garden. Well, you're still doing 5 times 3, which is, which is 150 damage, plus 10, which is 160 damage. I don't know if Xerneas resists Dark. I can't remember off the top of my head. Let's actually find out. But if Xerneas doesn't resist Dark, then you're doing exactly enough to knock out his a belted Xerneas. Fortunately, it does resist Dark. So they're, if they're not belted, you do knock them out. If they have a full bench, which they should be having. But once again, you do have Sizzle, which hits it for weakness. So it's not even that big of a deal. But this does beat a lot of things like like Volcanion decks that do use a lot. A lot of Volcanion decks use Skyfield because they want to have as many Volcanions on the bench as well as other Pokemon to support them. So Zorak does do really well against that. So it's, I have a 2-2 line of that. Uh, I could even bump this up to 3-3 depending on how well it does. Like I said, I haven't even used this deck yet. I am playing one Mew because if you can have a Mew in the back uh, set up to use this Scissors attack, Gale Thrust, and uh, you end up using Zorak's ability to like switch out, uh, to switch out with the Floatstone and whatnot, and then you switch into Mew, your Gale Thrust is doing 110 damage using Memories of Dawn. With that 110 damage, and you hit things like Mega Mewtwo Y for weakness, you are 100% knocking it out, which is really, really, really nice. So I do like Mew for that reason, Mew counter. Mew is my kind of way to deal with uh, Mega Mewtwo Y in case I don't have enough time to like just whittle it down with my Mega Scizor. Uh, same thing, I am playing three Mega Turbos. This one I am playing two Super Rods in because I feel like it's important to keep these Pokemon alive uh, in a lot of matchups. Once again, 4-4-4 line of Trainer Mail, Ultra Ball, and VS Seeker. One Hex Maniac in this deck since the other one doesn't need Hex Maniac because with Garbodor, I am playing one here. Two Lysander in this deck. Um, one N, and this is something I never ever play and I kind of want to try it. Um, Pokemon Center Lady is really cool. It can remove status effects. It can heal for 60. Because we're tanking so many hits, because this time we're using both Metal Energy and Reverse Valley, which means our Steel-type Pokemon take 10 less damage. Or, in the case that we're attacking with Zoark, our Dark-type Pokemon do 10 more damage. Um, depending on which path we choose. If we're taking 20 less damage from this, plus only one of these, not even counting if we had two, we're taking a pretty decently less amount of damage. Which means Pokemon Center Lady can really mess up their math as to like how, what they need to do to two-shot a Mega Scizor. So I like that idea there. We are playing four Sycamores. S stuff is just standard. Four Sycamores, one Skylas, two, two um, Floatstones, and three Scizor Spirit Links. So those are the two decks. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do my best to find some pretty decent matches. Let me actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the disruption one first because I feel like the disruption one I'm more comfortable with because that's the closest one to like a test I've done. Uh, I have changed it pretty dramatically, but the, I know the old one did have um, Garbodor in it. Not hammers though, so I'm hoping the hammers one works. But I'm actually gonna write down in a notepad that um, where my video started. So I'm actually gonna do this real quick. Um, I don't know how long it's been, but I don't think I have to cut. All right, so battle start around. I'm gonna go ahead and choose tails. Go ahead and write this down too. Oh man, we lost. Battle start around. Well, how many long? 15 minutes? Which is not the same as you guys because I've been doing a lot of like other things before. Oh, I got scissors to start. Uh, the hand's not horrible, I guess. Um, all right, we got that finished up. All right, scissor is here. I guess I can Ultra Ball to get a Shaman. I'm gonna have to drop a hammer though. It all depends on what I top deck because if I top deck something I can throw away, it's gonna be very, very nice. We are playing Greninja. Hopefully it's not the old variant. Uh, it's one of those things where I don't like people, I don't like seeing people play Greninja for the same reason that I, like, I don't like playing Greninja right now and that's because Garbodor is still a thing and Garbodor is an unbeatable thing. <laughs> Hopefully I can get me a Garbodor right away. Hopefully I get a draw supporter. That'd be really nice. As he wallies turn one. That's wild. Oh, into that too. That's crazy. He probably has a VS Seeker in his hand ready to uh, use it again next turn. As he has Regice too, which, you know, we kind of beat because we hit it for weakness. We got the Float Stone. So I'm going to hope to God that... Um, the crushing hammers probably won't help me this matchup. I'll keep one just in case. Uh, it's, a, it's no. I don't think it's gonna help. I'm just gonna get rid of both of them because it's uh we're playing, we're playing. What's it called? Do I grab Hoopa? I think I grab Hoopa. I'll grab Hoopa. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I kind of want to put down another Scizor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab Hoopa. I'm gonna grab Hoopa to get another Scizor and a Shaman. Uh, yes, but that's it. I'm not gonna grab more than that because I want to make my hand empty. No, not this. Just one Hoopa, a uh, one Scizor, one Shaman. I would grab a Mega, but like I said, I want to try my best to keep my hand as empty as I can because I really, really want to draw into Trubbish as soon as I can, too. And since he can't attack me next turn, uh, I better do this. I have a pretty decent chance, especially if I get a draw supporter. That's gonna be really, really nice. Um, yeah, let's hopefully we get something off this, please. We got another Shaman, we got a Sycamore. Uh, the issue with having Shaman and Sycamore right now is, unless he gets Mana he can't retreat for free. I might just Lysander. There's no Ninja Boy yet, which is why I'm really reluctant on dropping another Shaman. But I feel like Lysandering is a good play maybe. I don't want to lose a Mega Turbo and a Floatstone though, so it's 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 rough. I know what I need to get the Trubbish right away, and I have to play aggro against these kind of decks. But isn't well, I mean, I have a strong feeling that he has very VS Seeker in the back, so that he can he can be he can make this thing a Froki this turn. So you know what, I'm just going to I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to steal wing. This might be the uh, this might be a huge misplay, and if it is, that sucks. I'm still learning, um, but if it's not, then it's gonna it's gonna go great. I just hope he doesn't have a Manaphy or a Floatstone. That's my hope right now, because I didn't want him setting up a, like look at that. He could have just water duplicated this turn most likely, but now we kind of slowed him down, which is really, really nice. So it all depends on what I draw this next turn. But what I can do, oh, see, th there's the there's the Wally. There's the Wally. He had the VS Seeker. He had the Wally. It's exactly what I thought he had. So I'm glad that um, I ended up making that play because it doesn't look like he can retreat unless he has a floatstone in a hand or a way to get Manaphy. But he just evolves hard into Greninja, which is good because he needs to as he attaches the DCE, which means he can't even uh, retreat. I don't know. He might be able to retreat if he gets a uh, floatstone or Manaphy. So, but he didn't. All right. So he didn't end up getting a full bench, which is what I was hoping for. Uh, we do get another Scizor. I can grab the Ultra Ball, grab a Mega, and then drop a lot more for Shaman. Or draw a lot more with Shaman. Which is kind of what I'm feeling right now. 
I'm gonna try that. Because I wanna drop the Sycamore. I have a strong feeling that I'm gonna get exactly what I want if I drop the Sycamore. I don't have an energy down there either. So what I can do is drop the Sycamore and the energy. Get Mega Scizor, use the Mega Turbo. Knock this thing out, uh, which would force this one out, which is fine because now that it's all the way into Greninja, it's less of a threat than a Froki. We evolve into this. We use the Mega Turbo. Now I hope to God I get some sort of draw supporter or like a VS Seeker or something off this. I'm just trying to get Froof, what's it called? I'm just trying to get a Trubbish at this point. Just, we get to draw five, which is a pretty hefty chunk. We get, uh, we get Garbodor, so this is good. I can Ultra Ball for the for the Froakie, right? And I can still attach for the turn. I don't. I want to discard this though. Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna give it the energy. As much as I should set up another Scizor in the back, I need to get Trubbish this turn, and I want to keep a Sycamore for next turn, which is what the VS Seeker is for. And I have to hope he doesn't do anything silly like delinquent me. That would suck. And I'm going to go ahead and Iron Crusher, and I'm going to get rid of the Stadium. If he delinquents me, I'll get rid of everything but the Garbodor. Actually, I'll probably get rid of everything but the uh, VS Seeker. All depends on what I draw off this. Uh, Skyla, yeah. Hmm. It's tough. It's tough. I mean, if he does delinquent me, I have to get rid of these three, because realistically, I have to make sure I have a full hand. But now, if he does evolve into Greninja Break, he has to knock out Trubbish this turn, which means it slows him down a bit. As he plays Birch. Interesting. He should get play Tails. He should get Tails for playing Birch. But no, every Birch player I run into gets heads. <sighs> Ridiculous. As he does evolve into Greninja Break, if he gets an energy, this kind of sucks for Trubbish. Uh, but he needs to get the other Greninja too. He can't knock. Oh, he, okay. So he is playing Giant Water Shuriken. Is he going to Lysander out? He can't because he played Birch. So he can't Lysander out the Trubbish. Because he just does it to Mega Scizor. So I feel like he definitely does not fear the Garbodor. <laughs> which is interesting. But next turn is like a perfect turn for me if I do get this off. Because I two shot the Greninja Break. If he plays Rough Seas, I discard it. And, um,. As you shadow such as turning off abilities, which is fine because <laughs> this turns off abilities permanently. So <laughs> I will go ahead and play the floatstone. He can't there's nothing a Greninja deck can do to Oko a Garbodor without using its own ability. So this is exactly why I don't feel like Greninja decks are good. But no, he can't even knock me out next turn. He has to do 170 120 damage to knock me out, which is impossible. We get two of these. I, I do have my last hammer, which I will play right now. We do get rid of the energy. Uh, I don't have another mega yet. I could super rod, but there's nothing to really super rod right now. Double puzzle of time accomplishes me nothing. It could get me a mega turbo, but I don't really want that right now. I can make, oh, I can't make a turbo right now because I don't have uh, what's it called? Mega scissor. So I'm just going to go ahead and use Iron Crusher. I don't see why not. Now the thing is, if this thing gets in the risk of being knocked out, what I can do is I can uh, use my two puzzles to grab an Ultra Ball and an Energy back, attach an Energy, and um, use the Ultra Ball, get the Mega Scizor, use a Mega Turbo, have a fully ready Mega Scizor next turn. Well, I need a Spear Link too, huh? We'll see. <laughs> I need to get a Spear Link. Do I have a Spear Link down here? I don't have a Spear Link down here. Uh, I need to grab a Spear Link soon. Not too sure what he's grabbing with Skyla. He grabbed two water energies, but he can't use abilities anymore. So there's that. But yeah, as you can see, this is a disruption. If you if your deck relies on abilities, Garbodor beats it. If your deck relies on having energies, <laughs> the um the hammers the hammers beat it. And if your deck relies on stadiums and special energy, then Mega Scizor beats it. And we have two puzzles. So if this, if I needed my crushing hammers, I could grab two of them back right now. But look, Moonlight Slash, he's going to be doing 80 to me. Not going to knock me out this turn. I'm knocking him out this turn. Um, I even got a VS Seeker. Uh, with a VS Seeker, I can do exactly what I was just talking about, huh? But do I need to? Well, if I want to deny him prizes, it'd be a good idea, right? 
So what I can do, let me think about this. I can via Seeker Skyla grab Spirit Link. Then I can play my two uh, Puzzle of Times to grab an Ultra Ball and a energy. Well, there's only one energy. Oh, wait a minute, if I retreat, then there's gonna be three energies. And then grab an energy. And I can attach the energy, use the Mega Turbo. If I Ultra Ball, I have to Ultra Ball the Super Rod and the N. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. Check this, this is gonna be wild. All right, we're gonna play the Skyla. I really hope that I have Spirit Links in here. <laughs> Because if I don't, then this is all a mess. All right, I do. I have two more, which is perfect. This is even, this is not even like, oh, wait a minute, there's no, yeah. This is just like the, oh, I like this deck so much. This is so much fun. Plus, I feel like it's so good. I feel like it's super underestimated. Underrated, I mean, not underestimated. I guess it is underestimated, too. So I am going to grab the Ultra Ball, and I am going to grab the Energy. I'm gonna retreat into this baby. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and attach. Gonna Ultra Ball. I'll get rid of the Super Rod and the N. I'll grab the Mega Scizor. And now next turn I have a Sycamore so I can replenish my whole entire hand. While well, I'm denying him prizes. So I can do this. I can do this. Get the Mega Turbo ready. Boom. Look at th look at this perfect turn. Oh my goodness. And we'll get rid of this too while we knock him out. Yes, sure. I don't know why you waited. That's the first time it's waited for me to click a thing. It usually knocks him out, then lets me click. But yeah, boom. And we get a prize card. And we denied him prizes altogether. So the only thing he can do to get prizes is to Lysander out my Mega Scizor and attack it. And we have another Mega Scizor Scizor line in the deck with the Spear Link. So we have everything we need still in the deck itself. Another Float Stone, which we can use to attach the Hoopa if he does Lysander that out. So like, we're, we have a pretty decent control right now. And this and this like mega like as you can see this mega not mega Greninja Greninja break deck has been nothing but consistent so far it hasn't done hasn't had a single turn of fuck up sure he's not using the best cards but we put him in a situation where he can't use these cards like right now if he did have the other Frogadier I guess he could water duplicate but he would only have two more Frogadiers to put on the bench maybe and assuming none of them are prized and he does play Red Eyes which is threatening to us but with with a uh, if he, if he does end up setting it up in time, uh, we do have Pokemon Ranger in the deck. So there's that. And the reason why we don't play Magirna, I know that some of you guys were asking this. Or not some of you guys were asking this, I don't know for sure, but... Oh no, this is actually bad. Now this is bad. Uh, but we're gonna have... We have pretty decent control, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. And I know there's... Oh, there's only one Super Run in this deck, huh? Um, I mean, I don't think there's gonna be a way that he can knock out both of my Mega Scizors in time. I don't think so, at least. This is my best play, though. I feel like I'm rushing. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to Iron Crusher. There's no reason for me to do that. I'm not in the back or anything. I don't need cards in my hand right away. I just want to grab prizes and put myself in an advantageous position. See, now I can play my puzzle to decide what cards I want to draw next turn so I don't have to use Sycamore. As he's going to set up that red ice, which I'm really hoping I get a VS Seeker as soon as I can. As he does play the Manaphy, so I'm surprised that he just now got it. But he already attached an energy to the um, Octillery. So, I mean, to the red ice, so he can't, he can't use, he can't retreat Octillery unless he gets a float stone off this birch. So we'll see how this works out. As he gets tail, so he only gets four. You should play N, or like Sycamore, not Birch. <laughs> I do, I do get a VS Seeker, so already <laughs> we're in a really good position. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna end. I'm just gonna grab Lysander because I'm gonna get rid of this threat before it becomes a threat. I'm gonna play Puzzle because I really don't want to draw anything I could use. All right, so I do want to do this, and these won't matter. Hopefully, I get something good off that Trainer Mail. I'm going to go ahead and knock this thing out before it becomes a threat. And now I do Oko these two Pokemon too. So if I do get another VS Seeker, I win the game. And I got Rangers. Oh, it was prized. So I'm so glad I got Rangers. And I'm so glad I knocked that thing out before this ended up becoming a huge issue because I had a prized Ranger. But I do if I, if I Oko this thing, which I do, because uh, he doesn't have a Steel Resistance, I just win the game. So 
So let's see how he's gonna come back. Oh no, he just he just gives up, I guess. So we're just gonna go ahead and iron crusher for game. All right, and uh, that's pretty much how this deck works. Of course, there's gonna be other kind of decks um, that can beat it because of sheer firepower. And for instance, if you have decks that can hit for 100 damage really, really early and easily. Um, then they can knock out the Garbodor if their deck does rely on abilities. But if their deck does rely on abilities, they usually can't hit for that damage without using abilities, which is why I feel like it's good against Volcanion. Um, and then Disruption, the, uh, the Hammers, the uh, they ran more double colorless or more stadiums. I could just keep disrupting them. And since it's so easy to like uh, to set up a Mega Scizor, because all it takes is one energy, one Mega Turbo, and that's like a turn one setup right there as soon as you evolve it, then... Um, you can attack for 120 damage, which is a pretty decent chunk of damage. Two shots, almost everything besides Waylord. Uh, even two shots, Belted Zygarde. So yeah, two shots, everything besides Waylord. And um, and then you just knock them out. You get rid of their energy so they can't attack you. They can't really do much to you. But that's that build. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the Mega Scissor offense. Now, this is something I've never played. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this deck does well. I don't think it's going to do as well as the first deck, but we'll see. I definitely feel like it's definitely going to, this this variant is still just as good as the other variant so i'm not going to discredit this variant whatsoever because this one can actually dis, if we like ran into a um a rayquaza deck or something like that would you like to go first yes then this deck would definitely shine with the zoroarks because it's so easy to sub zoroark that's just two energies you could even throw in a dce if you wanted to set up faster this setup is ass oh boy oh boy our only Hoopa, and we had to start with it. That sucks. We have so many basic Pokemon. Mew. One Mew. Two Zoras. Three. Three Scizors. And two Shamans. And we had to start with our one and only uh, Hoopa. Oh, uh, what a shame. Is he playing with Champ? Oh my god, this hand is atrocious. I don't even want any of this stuff. I don't have a Sycamore. I was really hoping to get a Sycamore so I could discard this entire hand. Well, don't want any of that. I have to touch the Floatstone now too, which means uh, one Zoroark. Well, I guess Zoroark's not going to be coming in handy too much this game. Um, I could... No, I'm not dropping Shaman for one. I'm just going to go ahead and use N. Alright, this isn't bad. Oh, wait a minute. It's horrible because we don't have shit to do. Oh, boy, is this bad. Um, this is awful. <laughs> This is horrendous. I'm just going to end my turn. I really need a Sycamore or a VS Seeker next turn or like one way to get those. Even a Shaman would be nice. I will drop these two if I get Ultra Ball just so I can use Shaman. As he's playing Muscle... Oh, the man, you know what? I'm not messing with this. The other guy we were played, I'm pretty sure... I mean, I guess technically he wasn't, but he was close enough. Okay, hold up. I'm not going to concede. We'll just see how this works out. I'll probably give you guys an extra battle after this, though. But he got rid of my only two float zones, didn't he? Yep, he got rid of my only two float zones because he played Starling Megaphone. You know what, guys? We're not doing this. <laughs> I want to get you guys some current meta matches, not those. That's the only reason why I'm doing that. I'm not cutting that out either. I would cut that out, but you know, you guys need to know how I've been trying to play. I would spend, like, in the past couple of videos, I would spend hours trying to find games that don't involve people playing expanded stuff unless I felt like it was a good enough game worth playing just because I ran out of time. But today, I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> no, sir. Oh, shit. Oh, I clicked by accident. Um, um, damn it. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, well. That sucks hard. I don't even know what he's playing, but I'm sure it's going to bite me in the ass. Uh, more fighting. Please don't play care. As soon as I see Karina clicking that forfeit. Yep, there it is. All right, I'm, I'm okay with this because um, <laughs> I end up starting second by accident. Or for, or yeah, I end up going second by accident. So we're going we're gonna to move on. I said as soon as I see Karina, that concede button's being clicked with the swiftness. The swiftness. All right, guys, we are back. Fighting a water deck had to cut out some matches because it was just just took too long. It just took too long. You guys saw those first two matches where I ended up conceding because they played fighting decks that were all expanded. I found like three other expanded decks. No way. Would you like to go first? Uh, yes, 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 yes. I don't want to make that mistake again. I'm very tired, guys. I've been doing this for an hour and a half now. Oh, this is not bad. This is actually not bad. I will take this start. 
I will 100... Actually, this is actually a bad start. Never mind. I don't want to take this start anymore. I have to hope he can't kill me. He's playing water, so he might be playing Greninja. If he's playing Greninja, I'm just going to forfeit because we already saw a Greninja matchup. And it was pretty much as good as we're going to get. I mean, obviously, there's going to be better ones. But, like, yeah. Oh, my God. Mm, more editing. Not in the mood. What is this? Water Dark. That's interesting. But we're back, guys. Um, let's see what Water Dark has for stuff. I had to cut out a lot of matches. So much. I ended up fighting two more Greninja decks, which I didn't want to put on the camera because you guys already saw me battle Greninja. And um, there's like four other expanded decks. It's been like an hour and a half <laughs> since I started recording. This hand is not the worst, I guess. I mean, we have Sycamore. We can attach for the turn. It all depends on what else we top deck. But it looks like this man's playing Zoark with something. Some sort of dark build. Hmm. That means our Reverse Valley is not going to be helping us. Like, we have to play Reverse Valley, but have the Dark Side pointing our way. Wait a minute, was he playing Reverse Valley, or did I see, like, some sort of Chaotic Tower bullshit? We're drawing a lot of cards, so hopefully we don't draw anything too good, because I still want a Sycamore. Like, I want, if it's anything, I just want to put down Basics, so that'd be kind of nice. Yeah, sure, I'll draw everything, whatever. Might as well see what we can get off it. Are you fucking see I should have no I shouldn't have drawn. I shouldn't have drawn. This is ridiculous. Now I need to play N. So I hope to have to hope to God he ends us. Am I not going first? I thought I clicked yes. Oh, I don't know. He's gonna play he's gonna get last night. Can you play N? I would greatly appreciate if you played N. Bursting balloon, huh? Oh my god, thank you, sir. I mean the it's one of those things I don't like is whenever you're in actual tournament and then like you play N and they're just like thank you so much thank you so much it's just like bruh I don't really want to talk to you right now <laughs> I don't want to hear you on your knees saying thank you for me playing an N when I'm trying to win a game right now get off my cojones if you will but whatever because we're on the interwebs I can say what I want <laughs> alright let's see what's down here it's playing Bursting Balloon, Dark, Zoark with Eveltal. I'm very interested to see what he's trying to do here. The issue is that it's my playing down my, my Shamans and stuff is going to be very risky. But I don't really have a play other than to do it. Because I am stuck to all hell. I have to draw one card off this. Because I'm super stuck. Uh, we got Sycamore. I'd rather... <sighs> I'd rather play Sycamore because I don't feel like Zoark is going to accomplish as much. Like he's gonna try to get a full bench and all, and I, I can see that. Uh, I don't need to play this anymore. I don't even have to play Mew. In fact, I don't have to play shit. Uh, it's kind of frustrating because I want to play Hoopa to grab more Scissors. Uh, I might do that later. I mean, I don't. I honestly don't have to this turn. I could literally just Sycamore again the following turn. I could play Skyla, grab the Mega Scissor, but I don't have an Energy. So if I top deck an Energy, maybe. If I can top deck an Energy, maybe. Then I might do that, but I'll play Skylar to get the Mega Scissor, I, whatever the fuck it's called, Scissor, right? That's the game's uh, Spirit Link. Uh, play the Hoopa, grab another Shaman, and the he's gonna play N anyways, and uh, the Mega Scissor, attach the energy, and then continue from there. We can discard this special energy too, which is something I really want to do as soon as I can. Uh, we can Ultra Ball away these two things. We got the energy. We can grab the Mega Scissor. It just sucks because I don't have the Scissor right. But Evil Ball is going to be doing 80, which is annoying because that's a lot of damage. Um, I could Lysander out this. We're definitely not going to be playing Ranger this game. Ah, uh, what do I do? I could Sycamore. Well, first things first, let's reduce some damage. If I play Hoopa, nothing much is going to be accomplished from it. Because I don't have the Scissorite right now. So I'm going to actually have to Sycamore. Because there's nothing else I can do. Because I can Mega Evolve right now, but then I'm not going to be able to attack. I'd much rather attack this turn so I can get rid of his special Dark Energy. Uh, Alright, see? This is exactly why I did it. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Because now I can attack this turn. I could get Hoopa... I don't have to. I'm going to. Uh, should I? I'm going to get Hoopa. And the reason why I'm getting Hoopa is because I need to. I, I'm going to have to set up another Scizor and a, a Shaman. So I'm actually going to uh, grab. Oh, I'm going to grab Hoopa, not this. That's number one. 
Uh, I'm gonna grab Shaman, or I'm gonna grab Hoopa, and then I'm gonna use Hoopa to grab Shaman and another Scizor, because I need to start setting up as quickly as I can, because this deck is apparently moving very quickly. So all we're gonna do is grab one single Shaman and one single Scizor. So we're gonna grab Scizor, and we're gonna grab the other Shaman is gone. I Sycamore did. Okay, um, which means we're gonna grab the Mega. We'll grab Magirna too, just to get it out of the deck. We're probably not going to bench it though, because it definitely does not look like the kind of deck where we're going to need Magirna. I'm just going to Sycamore again way later, so I don't have to draw it. But I will go ahead and play down the Scizor. I can't attach this turn, so all I'm going to do now is Iron Crusher and get rid of that Dark Energy. Oh uh, yeah, I guess I'll just click it. I thought I had to click the Energy, but whatever. This is really interesting, because... Uh, I guess because in the in the in the games, I hope my mic's not doing that weird thing. Give me one second, guys. I mean, if it is, it's too late now. Um, but in the anime, they made it to where dark no longer resists. Oh, is that gonna kill me? I think it's gonna kill me. But in the anime, they made it to where dark no, or steel no longer resists dark. So like, this is like an even matchup. I don't know. I'm I'm a nerd. I apologize. Uh, levels. No, we're good. Just want to make sure. Because it looked like the audio is kind of quiet, but whatever. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's going to do, what, that's 120. 120 is 200. 200 is not enough to knock me out. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Yes, it is. I'm stupid. I'm not at full HP. All right, that's a knockout. But that's fine. Kind of, I guess. What's he trying to do here? But yeah, that's unfortunate. Wait a minute. It doesn't even knock us out. How much did it do? What did he do? Hold up. One, two, three, four, five. Evil. Do I resist dark? No, I resist psychic. So hold up. What did he do? He did a hundred and he did 110 damage. He went for Y Cyclone. No, he didn't go for Y Cyclone. He went for Evil Ball. 20 times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. So one, two, three, four, five. That's a hundred. That's 120 and it's 111. Oh yeah. I, I don't know why I thought I said 200, but this works out for me. I'll take it. So that means I knock this thing out, and I have a potential Mega Scizor in the back. So no need to rush. We're just gonna go ahead and play Iron Crusher. We'll get rid of his, we'll get rid of a Stadium too, because why not? And we grab two prize cards. So hopefully we can get us. Oh wait, a minute, I think all the Spear, spear Links are in the deck. But hopefully we can get something useful out of this. Um, Mega or regular Scizor and another Shield Energy. So I can attach that Shield Energy here. I can actually put down the Scizor because the Scizor is actually good this matchup. As he plays this down, this is going to do, what, 20, 40, 60, 70 damage? 70 damage is enough to knock us out, so there's that. Um, I don't want him to evolve into Mega Scizor. That, or, I mean, uh, Zoark Break, because that could be actually really annoying. But he has to get Floatstone now, or else this thing's gone. Which, I'm, I'll am i knock this thing out. I, the Zoark's not a threat to me, because Zoark only has 100 HP, so I can knock it out with uh, Mega Scizor's attack. Uh, but th this, this thing's a threat, because it's just going to let him keep drawing. It's so interesting... Oh, excuse me. It's so interesting to me that people are playing um, Octillery more than Shaman now, which I disagree with 100%. Okay, is he? Oh, he's on a stand in. I'm dumb. I mean, like, that's fine, <laughs> I guess. Oh, he's going to end. Uh, that's fine because our hand wasn't the best, anyways. I mean, I could have Sycamore, but I'd rather get the Spirit Link. We're getting four off this. Uh, no Spirit Link, unfortunately. But I do have a Float Stone. Which means that I can, if I can't attack this turn, I can throw something in the back. Because he's going to knock me out this turn. Because he's doing 70 damage, 60 damage, all that nonsense. Oh, 90 damage. Why is he doing 90? 30, oh, it's 30, not 20. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so we can go into uh, Hoopa here. and attack. Wait, is Hoopa weak to dark? Hoopa's not weak to dark. Yeah, we'll go into Hoopa. Uh, we have Sycamore, which is awesome. Um, which is really, really nice because then I can super rod a Mega Scizor back and feel a little bit more comfortable. Okay, I'm going to super rod. Uh, how many energies are in here? I mean, I still have all my Mega Turbos, I believe. There's only one energy in here. There's two Mega Turbos, so yeah, I'm not going to put any energies back. I'm just going to put back a Shaman and a Scizor line. <clears throat> which makes me a lot more comfortable doing this. Draw seven cards off this. If I can get an energy, a spirit link, that'd be nice. No spirit link, unfortunately. I am gonna put down another scissor. I'm gonna put down a floatstone here. Oh, he already has a floatstone. Oh, yo. 
that's cool. Uh, I'm dumb, but that's fine. I am, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to get a Mega right now, which I'm not gonna get. Okay, well, um, what I'm going to do now <laughs> is I'm gonna Ultra Ball. <laughs> I'm gonna Ultra Ball, I'm gonna drop my Lysander and Floatstone. I'm gonna attach here, and I'm gonna Mega Evolve. Floatstone and like, because I want to use N next turn. I'm gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve my Sizzle right now, though. Yeah, that's gonna be the play. Perfect. Now the turn ends, and we can do some big damage the following turn. Because we can Mega Turbo unless he ends us, which he does end us. He'll give us four cards, and we have so many Sycamores and ends left in the deck. Uh, we have one end in the deck, and we have two Sycamores, as well as, I think, all of our Versus Seekers, right? Oh, we have three VS Seekers, and then we have three Trainer Males. We have so many outs to the situation right now. We even have two Ultra Balls to grab another Shaman. Oh, he grabs the Zoark Break, though. I mean, that's not going to help him right now. What is he going to do? Hyperspace? That's interesting. He's just going to hyperspace us. That'd be interesting because he could have hyperspace one of our Megas in the back. We get another Super Rod, which is not going to be used right now. We're just going to go ahead and Mega Turbo. Attach us to this. The only thing that's annoying about this is that we're going to be taking damage and we're not going to knock him out. We do have another Scizor in the back, so it's not the worst case scenario, I suppose. Uh, but if we take 60 and then the 90, he's still not going to knock us out, which is, this is awesome. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, I don't want to make it easy for him to beat us, but at the same time, I really need a Spirit Link and the Mech Evolve as soon as I can. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and drop the Shaman, because I need to run through this deck as quickly as I can to win this game. Uh, we, perfect. See? Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. Uh, this is exactly what I mean. Everything is working out so smoothly right now, which means if he does knock out this Mega Sizzle, I have another one in the back. Uh, I can play this real quick. Uh, it's not really going to do me anything, so we're going to click done. But I just don't want in the deck anymore because I'm done. There's nothing else I can do right now. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and Iron Crusher. We're going to get rid of his Stadium. Actually, we'll get rid of his Double Color, so it forces him to attach another one. His Stadium does nothing for us. We're going to go ahead and take the 60, which is fine. He can't knock us out. 30, 60, 90, 120. 120 damage is not enough. So it's 130 damage if he does attack us. If he uses his own Iron Crusher, that's fine because we don't have a special energy attached to this one. Plus, we have a backup energy in case he does like Lysander or something. So you play Sycamore. Um, that's fine. We'll see what he can do. But all I have to do is knock out this. I have to knock this thing out. This thing is becoming a swift threat. I do have a VS Seeker for a Lysander. If he can't attack this turn, which he can't attach an energy, we're in a good position. So what's he going to do? He's going to retreat and attack with the other one. He's going to attach a Bursting Balloon. Ooh, big boy, I see you. Um, I'm not going to knock this thing out this turn. Because there's no way, I don't think he can two-shot my Mega Scizor. I haven't even gotten my Stadium yet. Where's my Stadium? Well, I guess the Stadium won't really help us, because he's just going to do 10 more damage anyways. Um, he's going to Ultra Ball. I think if he does attack me, I'll take the double down because I need to weaken this thing so I can win. What's he grabbing with this? Another auxiliary, probably. But yeah, we're this is a really nice stalemate of a match because we're both we're going back and forth here. Is he grabbing another Zoark? Oh, that's fine. I don't know if he has a DCE in his hand, but if he does, that's going to be annoying. He can't attach his turn because he already attached to this uh, Eveltal. And that evil ball is doing 100 damage, and I think I knock myself out with an attack, which is going to be a bit irritating, but we're on the worst case scenario because we can still attack with this scissor to knock out a Zoark. So actually, it's pretty interesting how this game is turning out. Um, if I had the energy disruption one, this would do so much better against this matchup. Zoar kind of helps in this matchup too, but I didn't want Zoar because it wasn't the biggest help in the world. Um, if I can get another Super Rod, which I don't think there is a way, because I think they're both in here. No, there's one more. All right, perfect. I can actually make another Mega later. Uh, nothing here. Oh, that's going to be so nice later. <laughs> 
If I can make that work, that's gonna be so nice later. Is there a super rod? I just want a super rod. Oh, there it is. Perfect. So now I can actually super rod back the Mega Scizor. I'll wait for it. He might end me, but for the time being, I'd much rather wait for it. I could retreat right now, attach Mega Evolve, make this Mega Scizor no longer a threat, or it won't faint at least. I'm gonna do that actually. It's the same thing as what I did last game. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and attach. Oh, I can't attach for the turn, but I can Mega Turbo for the turn. And I have a, I have another, I have still Sycamores, uh, things like that. So everything's in the back still. Um, I still have this thing. I can still attach for the turn. How many energies are in here now? Uh, only one. So yeah, this is actually really nice. Iron Crusher does knock him out. We can't get rid of, oh, it doesn't knock him out, but we can get rid of one of his energies. So he has a harder time knocking us out. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of one of his energies. His one and these energies are doing more damage to us because they do 10 more damage, or is it 20 more damage? Um, oh wait a minute, it's because we're it's because we're attacking him, we're taking 80 damage back because of his dark energy. Luckily though, I don't know. Apparently he only affected one of us. Oh, he does play his own. Interesting. Because I'm gonna play my own next turn. He needs to attach one more energy though. Uh, he's going to run through his deck, trying his best, which, I mean, I don't blame him. He's got to. <clears throat> Ego Arm puts his tools back in his deck. All right, that's a bit annoying because he's not going to be running in through his deck as fast. All those Bursting Balloons, man. Is he going to get another Octillery? So if he gets another Octillery, he can draw another one and just keep attaching them. I like this. This is actually a really interesting deck. All these Bursting Balloons, uh, the Veltal's ability to, like, you know, not be O-Code as easily. Uh, plus all the damage that you're doing back if you're an EX deck from this, especially in this meta where like only EX decks are thriving. Is he going to knock us out? One, two, three, four, five. I didn't even think about that, to be honest. He doesn't knock us out, right? It does 150. It does knock us out. Shit. Um, that's really bad, actually. That's super bad. I think we lost. Um, I'm going to attach this here, so it does 10 less damage. I am going to Professor Center Lady this. And I have to knock this one out this turn. How many Spear Links are left? Is there anyone in this card? And any yeah, that's it. There's no more Spear Links, which means I have to hope to God that nothing can knock us out. Uh, I don't have to do this yet, do I? Unless he makes me draw, which he's not going to, because if he does, then I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'll be set. Uh, Iron Crusher to knock this out. So that one's no longer a threat. He needs to get another DCE to attach it there. I don't know how many he has left. Probably a lot, because I didn't remember seeing that many. Oh, wait a minute, that's his last one. Oh, that's his last one, then we're in a good position, right? Because he has to attach a single energy here to this one. Yeah, I was playing this game very lazily. <laughs> But we do have another one of these for another Professor Center Lady. Because now he can't knock us out with this one. Because he's only doing what? If he does attach another one, another energy for whatever reason, uh, he's only doing 1, 2, 3, 4, which is 24, 60, 80, 100 damage. And then reduce the damage by this. All right, see, he's, a, he's attaching more and more energies there. Like, those special energies are super annoying. But he has to retreat. Uh, I can Lysander. Uh, I do knock it out with one more hit. Yeah, I'm gonna Lysander. All right, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this here. Yeah, that thing's definitely a threat. Um, we're gonna kill it right now, and then we only have to get one more, one more knockout, and then we win the game. And hopefully, there's nothing he can do to win the game. I don't have to do anything else. I'm just gonna knock him out. It's gonna do like 40 damage back to me because of the the dark things, right? Is that how it works? Sure, whatever. I don't know why it's making us do this. He's already knocked out. 20. Oh, it's only going to do 20 because we knocked out his energy. Uh, there's are both of our reverse valleys. <laughs> the only two we play in the deck. Uh, the question is, is there any way for him to knock us out this turn? The only way is if he gets a break and then a single dark energy. That's the only way he can win. Because then he's doing 120 damage back to us. And um, is he going to break? Oh, damn it. He won. Well, he's doing 110, but 110 is all he needs. I don't know why he's dragging this out. He just attacks me, right? 110. 
if he uses my attack. Well, then again, that's just knockout, right? 30, 60, oh, yeah, that was, that was a good game. That was a good game. That was a fun game. <sighs> but yeah, this deck, this deck variant that I have built here is more designed to play against Rayquaza and I don't know, I don't know. I feel like, cause if you, like, if you were to, if I were to play with the other deck built with the, with the, um, with a disruption. First of all, that disruption would have helped a big time against this deck because we kept getting rid of his DCEs, his other energy cards, and then uh, that means we would take no recoil damage from the dark energy. Um, and then like his Zoar can't do all the shenanigans. There'd be no, there'd be no artillery. He wouldn't be drawing as much. So the uh, disruption variant would do a lot better against that deck build. But I, I still, I'm still in the belief. I'm not. I, I don't know. I haven't played the deck too much, but. I'm still in the belief that this deck, the other, the other, um, the other Mega Scizor deck is just as good, if not better, because of like meta matchups. So it's kind of, it's, it's a toss up to say, um, just due to the variant of the deck, I do, I do personally like uh, playing the other one. I don't know why it always puts me under the top, man. Uh, I do personally like playing the other Mega Scizor more because this one just seems more consistent and more fun, at least from testing. Um, but yeah, that's my opinions. Let me get, let me know in the comment section below, guys, which one of these two decks you like more, uh, or if there's a different variant of Mega Scizor um, that you guys like or like have played and like have had a lot of success with. Let me know in the comment section below. I know you guys, a lot of you guys, like I'm just gonna give some quick shout outs real quick. Uh, let me go on my phone. Uh, if you guys have commented on my videos, I'm gonna give you guys a quick shout out because you guys have been doing are like nothing but the MVPs here. You guys have been giving me so much advice on what kind of like cards I should be running in different decks. And um, I have to pull up my comment section on my phone real quick because it's easy. Um, notifications sure will do that. Um, people like Lincoln Quick. Um, Lincoln Quick has recently given me given me some advice on what to do. Um, <laughs> Jeff Bloom out there calling me a noob. A noob. I mean, uh, Brian Shipman, um, Devil Hugo. <laughs> who else? Who else? Who else? Z Zeno and Dark Espion. You guys are nothing but rad people. So like, let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, share, all that good jazz. Remember that if you do comment in the, if you do like and comment, I do give away random codes to random people in the comment section. So. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, let me know what decks you want me to play too, because I'm running out of ideas, guys. <laughs> I'm about to get to that point where I replay my old decks and like show you guys the changes I've made to make them more consistent. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Be sure to hit a like, subscribe, share all the good jazz, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.